The Renaissance is based on this idea of ancient Greece and Rome as one big unity. There was what we now would consider to be a kind of naive notion that we can say absolutely true things in a very broad-based way about what Greece and Rome represented based on the sources that are available to us uh, from them. Now, one thing we're going to do in this class is we're going to look at the sources ourselves, and we're going to pay attention not only to what they tell us no differently than what they told people in the Renaissance, but we're also going to take advantage of having learned a lot more about what it means to interpret sources that are so limited slash biased and to give a lot more leeway to uncertainty and be comfortable with that idea. Part of what is cool about history is what you admit to yourself and your readers, what you not only don't know but can never know, as well as the things that you can say things about because of the sources that you actually have in your possession.